Good morning, everyone, from Alaya Resort in the Mentawais. So I'm actually here with Leah and three other girlfriends for a 10-day surf trip. Today is day six, so at this point, I feel like we've all settled into the flow of what it's like to live here on this island, and it's been pretty special. Basically, we wake up, we have a little bit of breakfast, surf, have lunch, rest for a bit, surf again, have dinner, sleep, and repeat. And the only thing that kind of changes from this formula is where we end up surfing that day. And honestly, that just depends on the wind, the tide, the waves, the conditions of that day. This spot in the Mentawise is actually really special because apparently there's around 52 different waves within a short boat distance away. And we've actually been surfing around five different waves. Each of them are really fun and unique in its own special way. But I'm excited to see where we end up today. I actually woke up a little extra early so I can say hi to you guys, but I'm gonna go head over to the common area so I can make myself some tea and have a little bite to eat. So let's head on over there and get this day started. All right, I'm here with the other girls. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Everyone was already here early eating a little snack, but I'm a little bit late. But they just made me this delicious bowl of fruit and a hard boiled egg. So something super light, easy to adjust before we go surfing. But yeah, I'm super excited for today. It's gonna be so fun. So Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow All right, I just had breakfast. Now I'm getting ready to go surf, putting together my little surf essentials bag. And it's time to put on some sunscreen. Ooh, Leah's here. Hey, Leah. <laughs> the sun here is so strong. And yesterday we spent literally all day out in the sun. So I'm feeling a little bit crispy. Still recovering from Fiji. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the stuff is always so hard to spread into your face, but it's necessary. Yeah, so Leah and I are sharing this bungalow and then the other three girls, Maddie, Becky, and Amy are our next door neighbors. Pretty fun. It's just us here mm -hmm. at this resort, just girl takeover. We just got to our surf spot for this morning and it looks so fun. There's nobody out. It's my favorite. Empty I know. waves just for us. Empty waves, glassy. Perfect long Perfect for waves. longboarding. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much fun. Yay. I love this wave. Yay! Yeah, this wave is I think so my favorite. Good. It's just a really, really long left hander. The sun is blinding though, you guys. Kind of intense, but that's okay. Um, yeah, gonna wax up the boards and go hop in the water Yay. and we'll see you out there. Yay!
that was a super fun stir session. Um, my fingers are a little pruny right now. I think that's a good sign of a good session in the water because we were out there for hours. And actually I was kind of sitting out there for 45 minutes. There was a bit of a lull and I kind of got bored just sitting there and then a huge clean out wave came through. So I just took that back into the boat. So I'm all by myself here. The girls are still out there catching some waves and actually the waves are back on which is kind of frustrating because I feel like as soon as you leave then the waves start again but it's okay I need to reapply sunscreen and hydrate anyway um, but yeah so much fun just us girls out in the water and it's absolutely gorgeous outside but yeah let me have a snack and hydrate a bit so every morning Matt and Dave packs us a cooler with all sorts of snacks and drinks inside. So that when we have these long days out on the boat, we can have a little refresher. Sandwiches. And... Anyway, this is some homemade banana bread that Nat made us. So nice. She makes the best food, oh my goodness. Mm. Okay, I just reapplied my sunscreen and changed into a bikini. Pfizer is on, sun protection mode is on. Feeling a bit fried at the moment. I don't think I'm gonna go back out into the water. Well, there's three of us on the boat now, so there's two more girls to go. <laughs> two more girls to go. <laughs> In the meantime, Lee and I are going to smash this bread. <laughs> How was it? Oh my god, so fun! I love this wave. You're so killing it out there. So many random waves that came through. And I was like, what? We just got back to our bungalow after our first session of the day. It was super fun, but I am feeling so burnt out already. My hair is just cray cray. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to do some kind of deep conditioning treatment, but it's kind of hard to stay on top with my hair care when I'm in the ocean like two to three times a day. Every time I shower, we go back into the ocean. So I have to shower like three times a day and my hair is not liking the amount of ocean time. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put a little mask in my hair and put some chapstick on and some aloe so that I'm not feeling as crispy and then have some lunch and then we'll see about what we're gonna do after that. But so far it's been a really fun day. We absolutely scored this morning with some fun waves all to ourselves. So yeah, I'm feeling very grateful and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Just showered and feeling fresh. It's so bright out outside, but I'm heading over to get some lunch and to refill my water bottle here so I can drink a lot of water. But this pathway is so beautiful. I'm just a little sketched out to stop under these palm trees because there are some coconuts that have been falling and if it falls on your head, you're pretty much a dead person. So just keeping that in mind as I walk through here. I like almost fell. I'm trying to like a oh, good stretch. Good stretch. Keep going. Just finished my lunch. I ate so quickly, I was so hungry, and now I made myself a nice cup of tea, which I do pretty much like two or three times a day. And this right here is a really cozy little corner, and there's actually a little bookshelf and some magazines, some games, and this is where I like to just chill and drink my tea and hang out a bit. And the rest of the girls are finishing up with their lunch, and then hopefully we will go surf again. I just realized I never showed you guys a tour of our accommodations, so I will do that now, and then I'll also give you a little walkthrough of what Alaya the resort is like as well. And this is our situation here on this beautiful island. 
let me show you guys around. So these are the two main bungalows here at Alaya, and I really like that they cater to small groups and families and friends and everyone fits into either this loft and this downstairs area which is where Leah and I are staying and then the same thing next door. And there's this foot bucket here where you can rinse off all of the sand before you walk into the room. And I really love this wraparound deck area that we have. Usually we store our boards here in between surf sessions and we use all of this area to hang up all of our wet things. I guess this is the back porch area, but there's steps directly to the beach and then steps directly to a pathway that leads you to the boat dock. And now let me show you what the inside of our bungalow looks like. So I've stayed at a few places in the Mentawais, but this is definitely the most spacious that I've ever been in. And there's AC, which is so necessary here in the tropics. We've got this drying rack and these are supposed to be for the boards, but we don't really put the boards here. So instead it's just extra hanging space. And then Leah has her own set of storage shelves and I have my side over here. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess. And we've got two double beds with a mosquito net. Also very, very necessary here because there are tons of insects and mosquitoes love me. But yeah, there's two beds. So it's a great space for a small group traveling together. And then over here we have an attached bathroom, shower, more drying racks for our swimsuits and some more sink space as well. And I just love the decor here. Like look at these shell sconces. They're so beautiful. I feel like everything here is so well decorated and it just is a very great setup for your island home while here in Alaya. This zone is particularly lush and beautiful. This is the main lodging for Alaya and there's some boards right here but I just love how green and lush all of the plants are it's so stunning there's a bunch of grasshoppers hopping around and then up these stairs we've got a beautiful pool area where you can actually watch waves come through and this is a great place to just chill in between surf sessions lots of room for hanging out and chilling. And there's actually Nat and Dave right there. They are the owners of Alaya. <laughs> They're the best. And then over here, they always have like a fully stocked little bar section so you can make yourself some tea or some coffee in the mornings. So I actually frequent this area very often. And there's also all sorts of delicious beverages and snacks in here for any time you want a little refreshment. So yeah, that's the current situation. It's pretty special and unbelievable to be here in such a beautiful place. And Nat and Dave are seriously the best, most caring hosts. So if you guys are looking for a place to stay in the Mentawais, I would 100% recommend a live resort to you guys. So yeah, that is my situation. And honestly, couldn't have asked for a better place to do a girl's surf trip. All right, we are back for surf session number two. Everyone is almost on the boat, just waiting for Becky now. Yes. And we're gonna go try to surf a spot that I think is our favorite spot. It's called Burger World. And it's very rare that the conditions are right for it. So fingers crossed that it will be working for us this afternoon. And yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful day still. Yay, we're ready. Also, this is Lighty. Hi, Lighty. Hi. <laughs> Best boat driver right here. And surfer too. He's awesome. And free diver. And free diver. Yeah. All right, we just got to the spot and we're doing a little surf check right here. There's only one guy out, which is pretty cool, but it's a bit windy. There is some swell in the water though, so it might be fun. What do you think, Maddie? Um, I didn't have a good surf here last time, so I really want to redeem myself at this spot, but we'll have a good surf this time. Yeah. 
don't know. I'm it's like, not as good as last time. Yeah, I feel like last time was really epic. I was just like exhausted. Like, yeah. And it was like dying. It was big last time, and there were a lot of people in the water. Right now, there's only one person out. So Aaron was like charging on the longboard, like getting these like sets. <laughs> it was pretty fun. I got like one way that I like completely just like wiped out on and apparently it was like really shallow there and I almost like destroyed my face. I know, I remember seeing it. <laughs> I think we decided that we are going to paddle out and surf Burger World. It is yeah. a pretty good opportunity because like I said earlier, it's kind of rare to find this spot with just two people in the water. So yep. girl take over at Burger World. Yeah, yes. we're gonna dominate. Yes. We're gonna get in Again. and then they're gonna leave because they're not gonna get Again. in the <laughs> That's right. There's gonna be a girl on every single one. Yes. There is like one charter boat over here that's making me a little nervous. Yeah, but what are okay. they doing? How many people are on there? Sure. Just surfed back to the boat with Leah. And I'm feeling a little shook, you guys. There were kind of some bombs. sent it on some bombs. She almost got stuck on the uh, rocks. I was watching. Oh my gosh, my last wave was so scary, you guys. But I basically got dragged into the inside, and the inside is so shallow. There's rocks everywhere, like rocks just sticking out. And I'm just watching her. She's like paddling. There's like huge rocks just sticking oh up next to her. Yeah, it was sketchy. But we got the shot, though. We got the shot. It was worth it. Um, that last wave, I like, tumbled and Oh wait, hit here's my the chin. wipeout of the last wave. Oh, here. let me show you. Okay, yeah, this was me like going to my knees because I knew it was closing out on me. And then I fall and then the board hits my face and it hurts so bad. Ugh. But yeah, this was the session. So fun. We definitely got the shots. A little hectic. The girls are still out there on their short boards. I think they're gonna start paddling in because it was kind of hard to get into these waves. I think because I was on a longboard, it was a little easier. But yeah, I think I need ice. My chin seriously oh. hurts like bad. Oh. oh my gosh. Yeah, it, it like happened so quick that I couldn't block my face. Like just on your last wave? Yeah. I always make sure that when I wipe out, I like cover my, my head and my neck and like curl up in a ball so that it minimizes any damage to like my head, neck, and spine, which is the most dangerous part. But um, yeah, still so fun. Overall, I think I got some fun waves and we got the shot, so I'm pretty stoked. Now we're just gonna wait for the rest of the girls and actually, since the surf wasn't super, super long, we might go to another spot and hopefully somewhere a little bit more manageable with a little bit less swell and a little bit cleaner. This is the current situation. There's actually a lot of boats here now. <gasps> you sent it. Dude, I, sa I sent it. Becky, I saw you get smashed by like six <laughs> waves. You were in the <laughs> impact zone and I was watching you from like the channel. And I, I was just like, heard the no, scream Becky. and I was like, Becky! We were all like, like what? one more, one more. But it wasn't one more, it was, it was like, like five, five more. And then right after that, she got a sick wave. Yeah. So I feel like the wave was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> but yeah, it was like the worst place to be stuck. Bakari. Oh, wait, that feels really nice too because it's cold. <laughs> Like, there's definitely gonna be a bruise here. It's definitely. It's okay, you sent it. It's the memory from Mentawai. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, wow, it's huge out there. <laughs> Just watching the waves. Come on, ladies, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> How'd it go, Maddie? Um, one wave I got catapulted. You saw that. And then the second wave was like really massive and on the side, and then I was like, and then I almost like hit that Russian guy. Then. But yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like screaming. Aaron was like charging. I was just like living through you. I was like, yeah, let's go. Hey guys, so I'm heading over to meet the other girls to have some dinner. There is a beautiful sunset going on right over here. And it's just such a gorgeous evening. We're going to eat some dinner and some dessert and chill out. It's been such an incredible day so far. Oh, I feel so lucky to be here. Anyway, it's time for dinner and the other girls are already 
at the table. The food here is so delicious. For dinner, we have some roast beef, mashed potatoes, and roasted veggies. And also, there's going to be an incredible surprise dessert. It's different every single night, so I'm excited what tonight's dessert will be. Always nice to just eat dinner with the girls here. Girls only, no boys allowed. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh, I was mm. not ex Where did you yeah. even get this from here? Whoa. That is delicious. Like thinly sliced. Mm. Oh my god. Yum. Hi. <laughs> I told you there'd be bomb dessert. Every night there's a bomb dessert. Yep. Homemade mm. by Matt. Wow. Well, by this lady. This one is like really good. I want to eat it like a subway sandwich. <laughs> um. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Wait, wait, I need to share one. Wait, can I take a Fuck, I can't yeah. eat it. Okay, okay, I want my own. Oh, oh like my two. god. Wait, Maddie, do you want to share? Okay, I got two. Oh my god. Two desserts. So I yummy. Can we save it for the morning? Ah. I'll save it for oh like after service. Okay, it's time to get ready for bed. I'm going to be putting these mosquito nets down because it's very necessary, unfortunately. Otherwise, I will get absolutely eaten alive by the mosquitoes in here. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for following along. I hope you enjoyed a little glimpse into what this surf trip in the Mentawise has been like with some of my girlfriends. It has been so fun and I'm so grateful to have this experience. So yeah, that is it for me. Like always, thanks for watching and good night.